Hello my Vikings, welcome back to the channel. I am CS the Viking Gamer and we are here to play Valheim. Oh my gosh, I've played this game just a little bit already, only maybe one day of actual gameplay and I am super excited to share this with you. So we are going to start a brand new world, um, brand new everything. Uh, I'm not even going to bring my new character. I'm not, e I'm not even going to bring my uh, regular character. We're going to start from scratch and just go through the whole thing and discover all the things together. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same world seed uh, because I've discovered a couple of areas that I want to share with everyone. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun to build there. And uh, let's see how far we can prosper. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, here we are in game. Uh, let's see here. Brand new character. Uh, we're not going to change the skin tone, hair tone, or blondness. I don't care about those. Uh, let's see, hair. Braided one, braided two. That's not too bad. Braided three. Nope. No. No. Maybe. Okay, you might not know it, but I actually had long hair for a while. This kind of reminds me of myself, so we're going to go with it. No. 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 Yes! We're going to go with that. Uh, hello, kitty. Viking. Gamer. Ha ha! All right, start. Uh, we're gonna go whole new world for my channel. And we're gonna copy the same seed. QK. All right, let's go. I think I'm going to adjust that audio a little bit. Ah, so this is a problem sometimes. Uh, I just click wait to respond and it usually works pretty good. All right, we're going in. Long ago, the Allfather Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the boughs that held their prison into the world tree and left it to drift unanchored a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warlords, or warriors, excuse me, uh, dead to the world to be born again in Valheim. That's a very big bird. Uh, so that is either Hugin or Mugen, uh, which translates to thought and memory. The two ravens that accompany Odin wherever he goes. And of course, it's raining as we come into this new world. And here we are. Well met. Uh, this magical stone is a Veg Vizier. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing f towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of 
Ichthyr. Your first prey is a mighty beast you will need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Well, thanks, buddy. Alright, it's not far. Ah, hello again. Welcome to the Tenth World Warrior. I am Hugin, uh, sent here to guide you in your travels. These, the megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. All right, then. So, first thing we need to do is gather all the things. Like, all, all the things. We need stones, and we need wood. Now, you can just run around and pick up stones and wood from the ground, uh, but that's not going to be super efficient because, well, they're not everywhere. Uh, also, this is very much like uh, some of the other variations of Elder Scrolls, uh, in that the more you do something, the better you get at it. What is that? I think that's a deer. So, I'm gonna punch this tree to knock it down and get wood. <gasps> a graybeard. Or a grayling. I'm gonna punch you. Punch you to death. Take that, stupid little goblin. Alright. Let's get a little bit more wood. And then, we gotta start traveling. See, we've got 10 wood, which is enough. Come on, you want some? I got an axe now. Take that. Get back here. I'm gonna get you. Take that. Alright. Oh, here again. What's up, buddy? Uh, take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you'll have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Munin... <laughs> my lesser brother. My lesser brother, Munin, tells me that... tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Okay. All right, so the place that I want to build at is to the north. So to give you some pers some perspective on the scale, here's the sacrificial standing stones. Here's where we are. Here's the area that we flew in over. And there's the whole frickin' world. This place is massive. All right. Look how much faster that is. All right, so we need to go north. So we're gonna head north a little bit. Uh, we're gonna be on the lookout for food. Food is very important in this game uh, because as your skills level up, your health does not increase. So you need food in order to increase your health. Now there's a lot of different kinds of foods. Uh, and the easiest one to find is berries. Oh, another grayling. Come on, you want some? You want some? Take that. Okay. So, ah, here we go. A mushroom. So mushrooms are pretty nice. Ah. What's up, Hoogan? Uh, you found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you'll grow hungry again. Try to always have at least a couple of different meals. So, what that means is that as you eat food, 
uh, it gives you two buffs, health and stamina. But all the food buffs stack. So, aha, some berries. So let's pick up some of these raspberries here. Okay, I think this is actually exactly where we want to be. Yes, I think it is. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So, this is this is a great place to be uh, for two reasons. One, we're on the water. Uh, and being on the water means we have access to flint. Flint is found along the shore. Or just in the water. So, there's one right there. Now these guys, for whatever reason, are called necks. Now they're not super hard to kill, but they usually travel in packs. But they drop meat, which you can use for food. And I am running into all things. All kinds of things. Okay, swimming you have to be extremely careful with. Uh, I found this out last night. Uh, swimming, even just treading water, consumes stamina. And if you run out of stamina while swimming, you just start taking damage. So, you gotta be extremely cautious not to overextend. But, the more you go swimming, the better you get at it, the better you get, the less stamina you use. So we are going to gather up a few pieces of flint here, see if we can't transition straight into a flint axe as soon as we get to where it is that we're going to be going. And I think that's it right there. Ah, this is perfect. Grab all these stones. There's some more flints. All right, so what we want is a place that's relatively safe from enemies that might uh, try and attack us. Uh, because there will be random little, they, they call them events. And these random events are just monsters trying to attack you at your base or wherever you happen to be. Oh, there's a boar. Let's see if we can't kill it. Okay, we got him. Alright, so this is good. Uh, so this is an abandoned house. Now, I can already see it. There's a beehive in there and I don't want to I don't want to antagonize the bees. So we're going to leave it alone for now. But the fact that it's there means that later we can go back, destroy the beehive, get a queen bee, and raise a beehive of our own. Alright, let's see here. We need a way to get to that little island. So you do have a weight limit on your character. Alright, let's get to the other side here. Gather up some more wood. And I think I see a way that we can get over there. Yep, there's our way. Okay. Now I also want to be on the lake uh, because I don't know if there's going to be fishing. If there is, then we have a steady source of food forever.
Okay, this is perfect, right here. Alright, we made it. Haha. -ha. Okay, so this, this is gonna be perfect, right here. So now, we need to craft a hammer. So we're gonna go in here. We've got 25 wood, which is pretty nice. So we've got a hammer, so now we can build. Oh, Hugin's back to tell us some more things. Uh, you have crafted a hammer. With this tool, you can raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Uh, start by building a workbench. This will enable you to construct other things. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we go to our hammer and we right click. And this gives us options to build. So we've got miscellaneous, crafting, building, and furniture. So until we build a workbench, this is all we can do. So we are going to toss down the workbench right here. So now, oh. hello again, buddy. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk to you. Yeah. <clears throat> so many things. <sighs> oh my gosh. going through all the recipes. So many things. And it's still going! Oh my gosh! Okay, I, I can't interact with him. There we go. Uh, you have built a workbench. Workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as gives you access to lots of of more building pieces to construct with the hammer. So, uh, the workbench is now usable, but we can't access the workbench until we build a roof for it. So, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to pop that there. So the nice thing about the building in this is that it is fairly intuitive. So we're going to go like so. And now we need a roof. And we are out of wood. Okay. station is too exposed. Ah, dang it. Okay. Uh, that's alright. That's alright. Uh, let's go and get some wood. So there's some trees over here. Next to a bunch of boar. Alright, let's eat that and eat that. So each piece of food that you consume will give you a different buff. Looks like we've got a little uh tree stand here. Uh, so any kind of wood that you run across, like this stump here, you can attack it and it will eventually break and then you can use it. So we're going to head over here and we're going to chop down these little saplings for some more wood. Now the more you use a skill, the better you get at that skill. Now the interesting part is that uh, the axe has two skills. There's wood cutting, and then there's actual axe combat. Come on. There we go. Uh, 
All right, looks like we've got some more berries. Let's just grab up all of those. All right, so let's chop down this tree so I can show kind of what happens when a tree is chopped down. So same as before, you chop, and then it'll have a different animation right there. So the tree is now falling. And uh, when the tree falls, if it lands on you, it will hurt a lot. So we're gonna chop the rest of this down. So it goes from one big tree to a very large log. And then it goes to two logs, and then you chop those logs, and it turns into actual just wood. Come on. And chop. There we go. Okay, so we've got 50 wood. That's pretty darn. That's, that's a lot. That's a, that's a good chunk. Um, okay, let's head back. Oh, this is a great place. Oh, there's necks right here. With them that close, that means we don't have to go too far for food. All right, let's... So as you build stuff, it'll just kind of snap into place to exposed. Ah, uh, is it because there's the lower section in the back? Dang it. All right, uh, you know what? Let's, let's do this. Let's put down the second workbench. We'll destroy that workbench. We'll do, not that one, that one, a floor. Awesome. Crafting workbench. There we go. Two and too exposed. Why is it too exposed? It's not too exposed. <sighs> All right. Um. Okay, this, uh, this may, may have been a mistake. So we're just going to build a very quick little house. So we have a place to get inside. Uh, how to do this, how to do this. So this does not have to be a permanent residence at all. But what we can do that. Oh. What's up, Hugin? What you got for us this time? Uh, be wary of the weather when the, the weather drops, or the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seek shelter by an open flame as your best option when this happens. Thanks, buddy. That'll help us out. 
All right, so we're going to do that. Uh, then... Yeah, we're going to do... That. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to test it out and find out. Uh, let's see, we have two. Dang it. That might not be enough. Okay, that is enough. Come on, nice and easy. There we go. Hey, now we can use it. So, repairing stuff costs you nothing. You can just do it, which is very nice. There you go, kitty. So, now that everything is repaired, uh, we're gonna need more wood. <sighs> wood means going back over there, which means getting wet, running past the next. All right, uh, there's some wild boar over here. There we go, a stump. So let's just chop this down. We'll get a couple of more pieces of wood. What is it? You want down? Okay, let's set you down. So, from what I've been able to determine, you can basically clear-cut the whole place. Now, I don't particularly want to do that because, A, uh, I don't really need to. I see you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take that. Ah! It's a great dwarf! Come on. Come on. You want a piece? You want a piece of this? Take that. What you got? Great dwarf trophy. Great dwarf eye. Alright then. chop a tree we need we, we need a good chunk of wood um, ah, okay uh, we can eat another bite when it says that you can eat another bite that means that your food is run out you can now consume more so let's have another raspberry grab the resin now let's chop this log think that this will give us all the wood that we need. Ow! Okay, so the log rolled into me. There we go. I thought I heard a grayling. Alright, so the game will randomly just make little rustling sounds in the bushes just to freak you out, I think. Alright. Let's see if we can't kill some of these. Alright. 
Well, we got one. But one is enough. So it's very important to have proper ventilation for your uh, fireplace. Uh, the reason for that is because if you don't, it will fill up your house with smoke and you will start to suffocate. Okay, let's do this. All right, I want the smaller thatched roof. Boom, boom. Uh... And just because I'm a sucker for aesthetics. All right, so rested, that's a big thing. Uh, that is one of the key things that you want. Okay, so everything is now repaired. Let's make a fire pits there uh, we have some wood on us let's add some wood to the fire ah So, when you're cooking, you gotta kinda watch it close, because its color will change, and then you have to remove it from the fire. If you don't, the food will burn. Yeah, it's that detailed. Alright. Now, I guess you could just sit here and spam the E button until everything is cooked. But, uh... You don't really have to. Alright, so now we've got some cooked meat and some grilled necktail. What the... Why is that going out randomly? Got fuel. All right. Uh, I think that's going to be it for our first time. We have we have a little hut. We have the start of a base. Uh, you know what? Last thing we're going to build a storage chest. We're going to put it right there and we are gonna put all of our random little bits and bobs in here and it is now day two all right not a bad start not a bad start at all so uh, thank you everyone for watching this has been our first day of Valheim. Oh my goodness. Going forward is going to be interesting. I, I have a lot of plans for our little rocky island here. Um, I am likely going to move our little hut uh, probably over here at some point. Uh, this land, this, this spot right here is a little bit more level. <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, eventually we're gonna get a pickaxe and we can probably use it to uh, flatten out these rocks a little bit better. Uh, but until then, we're not really gonna worry about it too much. Uh, to start off with, we need to gather some resources. We need to get some leather, some leather strips, uh, get a bow, and we need to start planning to take down our first major opponent because he is the one that's going to give us the stuff we need to get our pickaxe but it's going to be a couple in-game days before we can do that and 
yeah, yeah, we will, we will see. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comment section, hit that bell icon to keep informed every time we put out a new episode. So this is CS the Viking Gamer thanking you all very much for this Valheim episode. Remember everyone, victory or Valhalla.